You say, where are you from? Where are you? If you tell them New York, they say, where in New York? They start questioning you now because they figure you're lying, you know? Outsourcing is a, a form of getting the job done while abusing workers. Send these people here, send these people there, send them to this, and it's always somebody from India or somebody from who can't speak the language, don't know really what's going on. They have to come back to us. They don't want to speak to somebody from India. They want somebody. I have an accent, and a lot of times when people call and they hear my accent, they get mad one time because they think I'm not in the U.S. So they're like, get me somebody in the U.S., get me somebody in the U.S. American companies want American profits. They don't want to pay American wages, and that should be stopped. It may be cheaper for you to go to another country, and I guess they understand that from a business point of view. You want to save money, but you have plenty of money. I remember back uh, when I was first hired that everybody, uh, I'm a central office tech, uh, and everybody in the central offices from the people cleaning the buildings to the people in the cafeteria, the uh, people in all the different crafts, the inside people, the outside people, were all in one company and all had a stake in supporting each other. I think this is just a way of having people uh, who have very little or no protection uh, in, uh, in desperate situations being pitted against uh, those of us that are trying to protect the middle class in this country. The reason why we have the things that we have now is because of our brothers and sisters who stood up and they mobilized, they picketed, they struck, they went on strike for us. All my male family members work or worked for Verizon, my father, 40 years, my two brothers also. And uh, that's what people don't realize. Verizon is a family-run company, and it's just run by thousands of families instead of just one. And that's really what you're fighting for is the ability to get a career and work hard, you know, b helping build a network. And your kids can come up and do it too, and it's, it's something that, that really you can pass on. All big changes have always come from people like you and me. When I look back at history at the civil rights movement or the early trade union movement, it wasn't geniuses and it wasn't special people who did it. It was people who wanted something good for their family, who wanted dignity, who wanted a decent paycheck. And they changed the world and we can do that today.